Hey, what's happening, everybody? Um, first and foremost, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the new subscribers. Um, I, I see that you guys like the video um, on the four inch PVC system. So I'm gonna show you some more drainage stuff today with Low Country Drain Tech. And uh, we've already started this project, but it's, it's pretty clear what's going on there. And it'll give you a good idea of what we do. And you know, I'll talk about that system and what, what purposes it serves. But again, just thank you so much. It's, it's far surpassed any expectations I had for the channel. So um, I'm just super happy about it and I'm excited to show you guys some more stuff. So um, let's get right into it. All right, guys, we're on the job site right here. Um, you know, real beautiful homes here uh, in this, this residential community. Um, what we did first was there's a gutter runoff here and there's a gutter runoff on the front side of the house. And they both came down to two pop-ups that were just set far too low. Um, one's right here and one was over there or right here. So we just um, kind of made the radius on this just a little wider. Put a uh, coupler on there, ceramic tile tape, brought it into a Y from that gutter runoff. And then you can kind of see where we cut the grass out and I've already replaced it. Um, and you can see where we started with the sod cutter and all the way down. We've already got this back in place, this sod. It's, dorm it's just coming out of dormancy right now, so it's a perfect time to mess with it. And then we tied that into our 20 inch uh, poly lock drain basins and I, and I customize these you know, accordingly. Um, typically I use silicone to um, seal these, these gaps. That way what'll happen is if you don't seal that gap, you'll just have a sinkhole it'll form and it'll, it'll continue to haunt you. So you need to make sure these are sealed, especially if you're draining water effectively. Um, and what we're gonna try today, actually we're gonna try something a little different. I'm gonna use this foam that I got and you know, this might not be the right way to do it. I'm gonna have to come back with silicone, but it's worth a try. Um, but it's just the uh, DAP barrier, multi-project foam. And yeah, we'll just see how that seals it up. And if I have to come back with silicone, I will do so but at least it'll fill the majority of the large piece of the gap you know and then i can come back and in silicone if necessary there's a nine inch basin going on the edge of this driveway it's just a huge pool forms right here so we're gonna have a nine inch basin and that'll tie in here as well and you can see we've already got the majority of the pipe installed and what we do is we cut out the grass <clears throat> put it to the right side of the trench we put the dirt to the left side we'll come back with a track loader and we'll clean all this up and uh, i'll show you that uh, i'll show you that as well um yeah, but yeah, we got all the grass back in. Come up here. It's looking real nice. Me and Brandon did a great job. And then this is kind of the working area right now. We had a pop of emitter that kind of goes to some kind of curtain drain they have going on here. Don't ask, don't tell. I didn't ask any questions, but this does uh, pop up and emit a lot of water. So we're going to bring that in and we have a six inch Y and we'll use a six to four reducer and we'll tie that in. Um, we left some room to work here. That way we can get a good... Um, great on the pipe uh, you don't want to fill into here and then install your wire you're just never going to get it in the right way and your tape your tape joint's going to be terrible all right so we come up here got this grass in and then we have our second basin in the chain uh, same thing this pop-up's going to curl in and go into this basin the basin does three things really it catches water from surface level acts as a clean out so you can access the six inch pipe if there's a blockage and it also collects the debris from the gutter system so um yeah but that's really it for the project so far We've got the john deere here and yeah the, the ground's actually really nice and dry so this machine is perfect it just kind of floats right over and what we do is just come back with a hand tamper and just tamp down um where the tracks have kind of risen or, or sunk the ground a little bit and everything's fine give it a couple months and it was like we were absolutely never here but what we're gonna do is take this system back all the way probably another I don't know, 80 feet or so through here. We got another pop-up to tie in uh, that's right here. You can see I've already got the cut, sod pre-cut, if you can see the lines. And then we're gonna come to a six inch pop-up right down there with that. And then, you know, basically that'll perk and then flow into the lake eventually. It needs to be 15 feet off the lake. That's DHEC requirement. So, um, you know that everything could be filtered out into the grass and the soil before you know if they get their roof cleaned and they're being kind of irresponsible or whatever else they don't want it right into the lake i understand there's game fish in there all right so that's really it so i'm just going to put it on time lapse and show you what we're doing 
All right, we're going to start by getting the old pop-up removed, and then we will tie in the uh, another piece of 4-inch corrugated with um, an internal coupler and ceramic tile tape. Make sure that uh, you go heavy on the tape. Don't go too light. You'll regret it later when you have roots growing into your system. So, um, yeah, that's all we're doing here and and moving right along. Really funny happen. <laughs> yeah. You know, then I'll slow it down. Yeah. If I do something stupid or fall. Yeah, you, I fell like twice yesterday in the ditch, so <laughs> you'll probably see me do that. All right. All right. We're, let's see where we're going to bad boy. Like that? Sorry, that was me. <laughs> oh, no. I wasn't. I just <laughs> um, here. All right, now we're just... Um, Figuring out the positioning for the six inch Y, you can see that um, Brandon already cut the piece uh, that goes from the six inch Y to the four inch um, to six inch reducing coupler. And we're just getting that installed and making sure that there's no dirt that falls underneath the trench. I'm using the bag right there to hold the pipe up out of the way. And we're just making some adjustments here. That way we get good fitment and it looks good. The, uh, the only reason we don't have this pop-up tied into a basin is because actually upon further investigation that it comes from a you know not how i build it but it's a burrito wrapped french drain system and it was pretty clean so uh, the water's already already filtered there's not a lot of particulate coming um from that four inch pipe so that's why we just went into a y instead of charging the customer for another basin All right, so now we are just backfilling the pipe. I like to go through and kind of pin it down with some um, with some dirt, and that way I, I know the pipe's positioned the way I want it to be. And then we come back and just get our initial backfill. We're making sure to pack it in real nice with just our body weight there. Um, you don't want to use a plate compactor or, or anything over a uh, single wall ADS. It won't end well for you. Um, and, and all we're doing is just packing in until we get to a point where you know we feel good we we need we need grass to go back in here so um you just keep keep that in mind you know we we tend to overfill a little bit but we ended up having to rake it back and brandon comes through and does a good job for me and then i come and uh, lay the grass back in and it looks like you know we, we weren't there um so yeah that's that's all we're doing there and just making sure we do a good job um putting that grass back in there's no high or low spots and you know yeah you want to get a good pack in that way um you don't have any sinkholes that form because you'll be here for another whole day fixing sinkholes if you don't get a good um, backfill. All right, guys, here we are just cutting out the grass right there. Brandon is working with the utility killer shovel. It's like a 25 pound steel shovel used. It cuts real nice lines. It's a trenching shovel. But anyways, we're pulling the grass out and we're putting it on one side and, and that'll allow us to trench and put the um, soil on the other side. So I'm going to show you a pop up here in a second that is totally encased with roots. And um, that's the reason you want to use tape on your joints because Although these are very juvenile roots, they can, over time, these are all new houses. This house is like two years old, and you can see the root intrusion already. So, anyways... All right, I'm just starting the uh, trench from the second basin to the third basin in the chain, um, while Brandon there is is hooking up the the basin, making it look right and getting some foam and everything set. And he's gonna check it, make sure it's completely plumb, left to right, forward to back, and make sure that um, it's positioned, you know, correctly. So we, won't, we usually, you know, try to shoot for about quarter inch to half inch below grade, and that tends to drain really nice um in most application you only really need to be an eighth below at the lowest point and you're going to be draining most all the water so um, yeah that's what we're doing here and nothing nothing to it just just uh some hard work see brandon there taping the internal coupler with that four inch and getting it in the basin and making sure the grades right on that pipe back filling underneath it a little bit so making sure it's nice and plumb and Ready to move on?
just doing a little more trenching, trying to get this trench roughed in. Um, you can see I'm skirting the grass a little more on the right side. Now uh, that way we don't have to pull and remove it um, as much. And you know, that just helps out with the uh, longevity of the project, shortens it up a little bit. But um, yeah, we're just trenching to this third basin in the chain. Just coming through after the excavator and um, just cutting out a little bit more material and making sure the trench is nice and flat and the way that I would like it to be. Um, you know, make sure it doesn't have any depressions, bellies, etc. So that's all I'm doing here. Hit this pretty gnarly clay section right here. It's kind of like a blue clay mixed with some organic material. I don't see this a whole lot, but we just came through and I was cutting it out with the flathead shovel. And you know, because what what can happen if you come with the excavator? It's just you're just gonna it's gonna have too much tear out, and your trench isn't gonna be the way you want it to be. Now we're doing the same thing. We're buttoning off, buttoning off the last, you know, 50 feet of this trench here. It's going to go down the, the side of the lake. Um, and Brandon's falling behind me and doing the same thing I was just showing you on camera, just kind of cutting in the trench a little bit. Um, we're kind of figuring, trying to figure out where we want this third basin to go exactly. And, um, yeah, he's moving the irrigation out of the way, et cetera. A homeowner came out just talking to us about how we set up the basins, and he was mentioning the Panama Canal and how it's kind of the same thing where, you know, one basin starts high, comes into the second basin low, and then the second basin is the pipe comes out high again and then comes to a low spot once more. So talking about that and how that can help you drain a, a flat property we found out where we wanted this third and final basin to go so we're just cutting that out at a depth where we can get some aggregate underneath it and you can see that gutter runoff that's going to adapt into that basin as well the aggregate helps it to uh, stabilize it you know also yeah. It aids in drainage, and we're going like, to pop holes in these before we leave. What? What's that? We'll pit holes in the bottom of the basin. Oh, really? So you, yeah, yeah, that way all the water will leach out of it. Yeah. That's not draining, especially those ones up here. This one won't have a lot of water in it because we're coming bottom in, bottom out. But like that one that's top in, mm -hmm. or bottom in, top out. You just drill them? It has to fill up with water before it drains out again. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll drill three-eighths with a paddle bit. I'll put like eight or nine holes. That's why we put rock underneath. Really? Yeah, so mud doesn't come up through it. Huh. That's the uh, that's the installation guideline. Okay. Yeah, from uh, from ADS. That way, that way, when it's when it's dry like this, dude, and the weather's beautiful, uh -huh. you don't have a mosquito hatchery. Right. Or petri dish. Right. The water doesn't sit in there long enough. Yeah. So you always want to put uh, leach holes in there, so the water can slowly leach out from the ground. Okay. I think that's good. Just been that aggregate underneath the drain right now, the drain basin, and you know, we have this like pea pebble or whatever. I mean, you know, 57 stone is preferred, but this works just fine. Getting it nice and level, getting it nice and set in, and then, yeah, moving on. All right, guys, so what we just did was went from the second basin in the chain, which is right there. There's one up there we've already finished. Got this trench nice and smoothed out. It's on grade, real nice. And this is our final basin, and then we're gonna go to a pop-up out there. Um, but this basin, we just like to set some aggregate underneath. We just went by Ace Hardware because I was short a bag and got these river pebbles. It's fine as long as you have some kind of aggregate. You wanna upgrade even more, you can put geotextile fabric to separate separate the aggregate from the uh, subsurface soil. That's the best thing to do, but we're not gonna do that in this application. Regardless, got it all nice and level. And the pipe will be coming in bottom here. 
and leaving bottom as well because we have such a huge break in the grade here uh, that we can afford to do a really deep trench uh, to a pop up. So that's what we're gonna do next. Get this all set in, get this gutter runoff tied into it and then continue our trench. I'm just trenching um, on the last stretch of the of the trench here. You know, I, I cut out a little more grass. You can see I smashed a sprinkler head coming up here soon. I actually, I cut it off with a sod cutter, so I already, I already knew it was broken. But regardless, just pushing on with the trench here, and then we'll do the same thing, roughing in with the shovel, and, yeah, get some more pipe installed. I'm just going nice and slow with the excavator here on the residential properties. You know, um, I try to skirt directly in between the property lines because there tend to be little to no irrigation in that area. It's pretty rare, but I'm kind of being surgical with this because if I hit an irrigation line, you can actually feel it on the smaller excavators. Um, if you're an operator, you know what I'm talking about, or at least if you operate one, I wouldn't consider myself an operator, but um, I think I'm out of the novice stage. Regardless, you know what I'm talking about, and you can feel sometimes you they're forgiving enough, especially on newer machines. You can feel an irrigation line or sprinkler head sometimes and, and be able to save yourself from causing any further damage. But um, that particular sprinkler head, I've already chopped off with a sod cutter. So if you can, run the sprinkler system a couple days before you want to do a drainage project, bump it for a couple minutes, mark your sprinkler heads, then come back and do your excavation. I was trying to figure out where which side the sprinkler head went to and it's the property on the right side so just checking that and then found a nice big piece of a stump that kind of tore up the property on the left side no big deal this is the deepest part of the trench it's probably two feet deep maybe a little more i don't quite remember um, but that's where the break in the grade is so if you want to get a good drainage you know you need to cut through that lip um, on the property so that's all i'm doing here and yeah All right, we are finishing off the area between the second and third basin, just getting the grass back in, getting the grade appropriate. Um, you know, if I had a tip to give you about putting grass back into um, on top of the trench where, where you've done your excavation work would be, if you can, make it a little proud. And what I mean by that is to have it sticking out of the ground um, a little more, make it a high spot because over time it will uh, sink down. All right, we're on the third and final basin, just getting it nice and level. Um, and you can see we're using the two foot level here. We're just switching it back and forth, uh, making sure front to back and side to side we are plumb. And then we backfill around it by hand, pack it in real nice, and um, that'll ensure that it stays in the position that you want it to. All right, so this is the end of the line for this system. This is our six inch single wall ADS coming into our six inch uh, pop up by NDS. So it's just basically a, a six inch SND elbow <clears throat> with a coupler for your six inch single wall and then a, of course, a pop up. Um, we actually install chains on that, which I'll show you later in the video um, and I'll explain why. But I'm just getting this set in um, even with the grade, so it's going to add a slight pitch. Um, front to back and yeah We're a father daughter duo Shut up <laughs> I ain't never seen such a thing I don't want that one hey, Shut your mouth What? Shut your mouth, minus 20 You wanna keep talking? <laughs> <laughs> can't believe I left the cemetery for this type of, it, you know, things happening to me. <laughs> I don't know. I forgot where I was going with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not my best work. Dude, where did that other You're going to come to realize the cemetery is the best job you ever had. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, as soon as I was saying that, I was like, you don't believe that. Those guys there are like, he'll, he'll be back. He'll come knocking. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Brandon cracks me up, man. I love having him working with me. Um, he just started with me, but he's he's one of the, mo uh, the most skilled guys I've had working for me, so it's nice having him. But 
Um, yeah, anyways, we're, we're, we're just back filling the six inch pipe. I've got the pop-up installed there and, um, you can see kind of how we, we pit piles of dirt and pin that pipe right directly in the center of the trench. And, and, you know, it just helps stabilize it. And obviously the more curves your pipe has, the less, uh, water pressure you're building. Um, so you want to keep that pipe nice and straight. Um, regardless, we're just backfilling, you know, make sure we get an even backfill, compact it real nice. And, you know, there's really nothing else to it. It's just a labor at this point. We come back by and clean all the grass. And like I said, I'll show you the finished quality or the finished product um, at the end of this video. I don't know if you guys noticed, we totally barreled, buried that sprinkler head and I had, we had to come back and, and dig it back up. Luckily, we had the other sprinkler head on the left, the old one, so we knew where it was at, but yeah. All right, we're just, uh, me and Brandon, just getting this grass back in. And like I said, if you can leave it a little bit proud out of the ground, it will pay off in the future because four months from now, when it sinks down just that little bit, that half an inch, it can be very noticeable if, uh, um, you know, it's in the right place. So just make sure that uh, you're careful and take your time. All right, guys, so here's the completed system. Uh, a couple days later, we just had a big rain. And you can see... I mentioned the chain that we put on the pop-ups. Sorry I didn't get the rest of the insulation. and Just phone died and got busy. But uh, this galvanized chain here, you can kind of just tuck it up underneath and the grass can go around it or whatever else. But when there's big rains and this pop-up comes off, it's not going to get washed into the lake. So that's why we install those. Regardless, it works out pretty well. Just make sure you use stainless set screws and stainless or galvanized chain. That way it's not just rusty and creating a mess. But you can see even on the light rain, it washed out a little bit. We'll have to come back and address. But finish the uh, sod out and do the best job we can. And, uh, yeah, finish up the property. You see we raked out most of the uh, grass here and try to get it back in a decent state. All the basins draining nicely. A little wet spot, but no big deal. Got the grass raked out best we could, tamped the tracks down, raked everything back out, just kind of expedite the healing time. This basin looks good, no sinkholes. Looks like it did its job. Work through here, so pretty pretty decent drain job for um, how it looked when it's when it's done here. You know, a month from now it'll look like we were never here ever. So yeah. Here's your basin. Looks good in there. Got some water sitting in there, but it'll leach away with those holes we punched out. This basin over here looks pretty good. Looks like it did some work. A little bit of a sinkage going on, but um, it's to be expected on a system this big. You can't get 100% perfect compaction, but you just gotta make sure you come back and mitigate it. Grass wasn't doing too hot here to start, but um, it'll all grow back in this spring. Still pretty dormant right now uh, here in February, so. Yeah, everything looks good. Just want to show you guys the end product. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, it, it wasn't the most in-depth drainage video. I just kind of want to get some content out there for you guys. Um, I've got some great content coming in the future. Um, some cool drainage stuff, and I'm going to walk you through some things, show you how I do it, and um, yeah, if you have any feedback on this video, um, please comment it da comment down below. I'd love to hear it and um i'll respond to you and we can chat about drainage or whatever else um but that's it guys thanks for tuning in peace